What I like about filmmaking is the post production. Like after we're done filming, I like editing and stuff like that. I started like editing in 10th grade. That's my favorite part about the filmmaking. That's what draws the um, audience attention towards the film. And it kind of like changes it up and makes it look better. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm tired. Me too. I know. But you're used to this. I'm not. <laughs> All right. I have 30 years of practice. Now I'm off three hours of sleep right now. <laughs> I got it. I'm just lost. All right. All these different things I'm trying to juggle around. My first month of work, I had work, film, shooting a TV show on Mondays. Had to work four days a week. I had basketball on Thursday and Friday. I had school basketball. And it was everything. It was crazy. But I'm now, now I'm starting to like manage it good and manage my time on certain days and getting stuff like in order now. Okay. I do see myself doing filmmaking after I graduate, but I would like to minor in film since I already have experience in the class, and I would like to major in management. I have no friends, I work every day. No. Okay, I have friends, but I lost some friends because I don't have time for them because I, read, I wouldn't rather have money over friends, but I won't let nothing stop from me getting my money. I will play games, but I will also get my money. Even though I am a student and have been a student for several years now, I don't really see student as my true identity. I have always been the type of person that keeps busy some people, I've heard them say, especially at undergrad, is that you can't have a life. You can choose to have a social life or be a good student. You can't have both. And I feel that I successfully found ways to do both, but that may have been at the expense of sleep. Lots of people tend to ask me when I find time to sleep, and the short answer for that is that I don't. Maybe it's because of all the coffee I drink. If I am not at work or at school, you can typically find me in a coffee shop. I never truly have been able to experience a life of being only a student. I have always had at least one job while being a student. Two years of being a student at the University of Pennsylvania, I was teaching full-time and also attending the school with other jobs speckled in as well, which I think is quite the accomplishment. I think that I would like to know that experience of being just a student, to know if I would be able to carry on that life and to see how my grades would look. I still think that I've been somewhat successful, or mostly successful, leading up to this point where I am on the cusp of graduation. I'm a busy, busy girl. I would describe myself as a student, someone who cares deeply about others, not just about myself. Um, and I just like to have fun and laugh all the time. I've been one to like school since I started school. Like I was always about my schoolwork, about my grades. 
getting things in on time. It's never been, I've never been the type to slack off or anything. I've always had a passion for school because I understand that you need years and years of school to, to at least be able to do what I want. And I like to be able to learn new things rather than not knowing anything at all. At first I thought it was going to be kind of challenging, but I am actually taking balancing school and we're very good. Like my grades have been good. My GPA is still good and I've been able to continue to make it to work on time and focus on that. I've learned that you think you can't balance two identities at once, but it's it's actually if you know who you are deep down, you can do both. You can do more than two things even if you're able to if you feel like you're able to balance it. I feel like I can balance both things. I am a first year PhD student at the University of Pennsylvania, UPenn. I study race socialization with the Racial Empowerment Collaborative and Howard Stevenson. Um, when I think about being a student, I think about a lot of different things because my life is much more complicated than just being a student. Um, I think about being a, a soon-to-be mom. Um, I'm a partner and I like to think of myself as a great partner to James. I do a lot of other things that keep me happy, like painting, drawing, um, I like to color. <laughs> I'm also an emerging filmmaker, which is exciting. Film takes a lot of time. Um, and I also like to spend time with my family, even from afar. So if that's you know a Skype session or a phone call, I do my best. Um, but it's really difficult balancing multiple identities uh, because like I think I think about the fact that you know something has to give along the way you're not going to be the best student the best partner the best mom the best sister the best daughter in the world um, but again I do everything that I can to make that balance possible um, and ultimately I, I've learned how to prioritize I put my family my partner and myself first um, because I believe that if you're not grounded in who you are and you're not taking care of yourself then the rest of it doesn't really matter. I am in the CTE program, and the CTE program I'm in is film and video, and we do we basically do short films and learn how the how the movie making process goes. I've always stick to like certain like always into like like media or TV or like internet because I always that was always something that clicked to me like in sports those things always used to click to me and I I I don't I don't like things when they don't really click. Like when I don't get it, it, it frustrates me, and I, I, that's why I enjoyed film so much. Cause, cause once I got into it, it, it was all easy. And then, I, even when I was getting frustrated with it, I still wanted to keep on doing it because I like doing it so much. So that's what makes me that. That's how I know I want to stay doing it. Cause, really, even if I get frustrated at the end of the day, I still want to keep on making film. I was one out of twenty eight kids that got selected for like hard work uh, for like C in the CTE program like I was one of the top students there and they selected me so uh, they took us like to the mayor's office downtown and you got to bring your family members so I brought my mom I'm really big on like my family and because I just always grew up like with them around me because I was always shy so I didn't grow up having not to sound sad but I didn't have that many like friends or anything like that I didn't get out of my shell so like late middle school so it was always like my cousins and my brother and my sister and my mom that I would always like talk to and they were like the people I always hung out with uh, growing up so that's why I'm just so big on my family because I mean they're so they're just important to my life and everything I do
went to art school, so I have a degree in art education, and I'm an artist. Sometimes I draw, sometimes I paint, um, I make a lot of like weird video things. Um, I just like to make things, and that's what I want to focus on. I'm actually about to take a leave of absence. I've just been like going and going and doing the student thing for such a long time that I just want to take a little bit of a breather <laughs> um, and focus on my artwork and stuff. I'll still feel like a student. I think it's such a part of my identity and it always has been and it probably always will be that I'm just a learner and I love to learn and I love to teach myself things. So I don't think I don't think that not being in school will make me not a student anymore. Being a student, people tend to see that as like the first and foremost thing about you, um, when in reality my life revolves around a lot of different axes. Um, you know, I have a lot of friends and I like to make things and work on my artwork and I love to read about all different kinds of things and you know I love my mom and my family and I like to spend time with them. The thing that I've heard the most often is things along the lines of oh well since you're still a student you don't have to worry about the real world yet when in reality like I have plenty of real world problems and I think there are a lot of students who do have real world problems. Thank you.